I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the 2020 October U.S. exam calculator section. College Board tells us that lines Q and R are perpendicular, both pass through the origin, and line R passes through the point 1K. They're asking for the equation of line Q. First of all, I'm going to use the fact that they pass through the origin, which means that x, y equals 0, 0 has to be on the correct equation of line Q. For choice A, that's 0 equals 0. B, 0 equals 0. Both work. Choice C, 0 equals 1 minus 0 over k. 0 equals 1 over k. That's not true, so choice C is wrong. Choice D, same thing. 0 equals 0 minus 1 over k. 0 does not equal negative 1 over k, so choice D is wrong. I only have to consider choices A and B, because those are the only ones that pass through the origin. Now I'm going to one option is to make up numbers. Let's try k equals 3, and then line r passes through the point 1, 3, and the origin. So this would be line r. Line q is perpendicular, so q would be something like this. Q, line q has a negative slope. Both of these are negative since k is positive, but clearly this is not a slope of negative 3. This is a slope more like negative 1 thirds. So the correct answer would be b. Alternatively, we can find the slope. The slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and putting in the point k1, where k is the y value and x is 1 is the x value, and then the point 0, 0. The slope for line r is k. So the slope for line q is negative 1 over the slope for line r, which is negative 1 over k. So the correct answer would be the one with the slope negative 1 over k which of these two choices is choice B. Choice C also has the same slope, but it does not pass through the origin. So again, we can eliminate that. Both methods work. The algebraic method of finding the slope of the perpendicular line and the graphical method, make up a number for k, sketch the graph for y equals for line r, which passes through the origin, and here point 1k and then sketch the perpendicular. Just go with whichever one is faster for you and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.